Hey guys, it's Tim from Bent Revolution Bike Shop in Odessa, Florida. Today we're looking at the Copenhagen Wheel, which is a great way to add electric power to your existing 26 inch or 700C uh, wheel. This thing can go 25 miles an hour, charges in four hours, and has a 30 mile range, which is really awesome. It's, and you can convert it back to your uh, regular cassette wheel in just about five minutes. Just drop the, phone, the, the uh, wheel out, put the other wheel back in and you're ready to go. Everything on this wheel runs from an app that you download from the internet and uh, it runs off your smartphone and it'll measure speed, distance, the route you take, power usage, calories burned, how much you contribute and how much the wheel is contributing. It doesn't have a throttle but it does give you a power boost so it kind of multiplies your effort. Uh, it's easy to do once you have everything installed. You just walk up to the wheel and it auto pairs with your phone. You can even share the, the app and the wheel with another user if you want somebody to borrow your bike and take it for a ride. Uh, it comes with a, a bunch of different options as far as assist mode. It comes with uh, an eco, which is just economy mode, which is a very uh, light boost. There's standard, which is a little heavier boost, and of course turbo, which is the top level boost. In addition to that, there's also uh, an option to turn it off altogether, which is not bad. You know, it just adds a little bit of weight to the bike. Uh, and then an exercise mode where you can actually charge the battery as you pedal. It kind of makes a little drag on, on the wheel. Uh, another thing that's kind of cool about this is it's got a variable uh, braking with the motor. So all you have to do is just pedal backwards and it's regenerative braking. So it's kind of weird. It's like having an anchor drop when you start pedaling backwards. It slows you way down. The ride is quiet and smooth and provides power without you even knowing it's there and has a pretty decent range for most users. Uh, a lot of times I forget it's even back there. You just feel like you're much stronger. The thing I like about it is it fits easily on a 26 or 700C wheel. You can have a choice of different cassettes that you put on it, uh, different rims, different tires. It's all really uh, customizable. And it's easy to change the wheel back to your original wheel if you want to ride without the motor on. Everything's controlled with a smartphone, which makes it really easy to, to use. You don't have to worry about extra wires or extra mountings on your on your bike. And it goes, it doesn't have to go on a recumbent, of course. It could go on a regular diamond frame bike. That's kind of what they're designed for, but it works great on a recumbent as well. There are some kind of, uh, a few negatives I would point out. One is the range is kind of limited. 30 miles is not a lot of range, and that's on the light boost or economy. You must have a charging unit if you want to go on longer trips. So if you're going, say, overnight and you want to charge up the battery, you're going to need one of these. The installation is pretty easy. You just put it into the dropouts and then put it on with a 15 millimeter bolt on both sides. But it requires a hose clamp to keep the uh, motor engaged. So that's a little bit trickier. Sometimes a hose clamp, you may need a special one depending on how your frame is engineered. We've had some limited connection problems with the wheel uh, during our test, but not, not anything significant. So I think that's pretty good. If you're looking for an electric assist or want an option to, for commuting uh, instead of driving to work, this wheel would be a great fit for you. At $1,500, the Copenhagen wheel is a great alternative to other aftermarket electric conversions that can cost up to $2,500. It's really a beautiful product with simple operation and riding it is amazing. Come to bentrevolution.com or check out the Copenhagen Wheel site on superpedestrian.com.